Hello everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus with me, Flick, and today we are going to try Delirium as Blue Baby because I'd rather try that than Delirium as Magdalene. The seed is 7NTR Y8LZ. We actually got a basement, so that's a good start. And if anything happens, like the game suddenly minimizing in a second, bear with me, I restarted my internet just before I started recording as my upload dropped from 20 to 7 at some point when I was out this morning. So I'm just trying to get it back to normal for the stream tonight. BT Engineer number 6 is visiting tomorrow for those keeping score. But this time it's not just to try random fixes, this time it's to assess uh, stuff. I don't know what they're assessing, they're assessing stuff. And that's to see if it's going to be handed over to a specialist team because there's like some serious work needs to be done. It's nothing that flipping a few switches will fix. Which is obvious. So that is Glitter Bombs. I think it gives you five bombs as well, so that's excellent as Blue Baby, right? Yeah. So the bombs have a chance of giving us stuff. I'm not sure if there's a limit to what it can give. Other uh, Bombs, keys, spirit hearts, money. I'm pretty sure it's all fair game, but I'm not 100% sure. But the biggest deal with getting a bunch of bombs early as Blue Baby is it helps potentially keep us alive, assuming we can actually find... A single tinted rock on floor one. No, just a single one. It isn't just a case of keeping him alive, obviously. We also want to be able to trade for deals on the next floor. If we do have to go for angel attempts, then I will, because it needs Mega Satan as well. But I would rather, if we're going for Delirium, be as powerful as possible, and that means not angel deals. Immediate regret coming into this room upon seeing it. Very close. Swallowed Penny, okay. I was hoping for a quarter, maybe? A bomb for two cents is not a good deal. However, we can buy a Spirit Heart. I, I only have one key, so I think that would be a waste. Let's see what boss we're fighting. Larry Jr. in a room with no stones. That's very good. Solar Penny means we will drop a penny every time, or sorry, we'll create a penny every time we're hit. I guess implying that you ate a bunch of money before the run started and then when you get hit your acid reflux spits it out? I, I don't know. It's not really worth trying to think up a lore for these things. Caffeine pill is not a great first item. Ooh, well we got into the shop for free. That's pretty good. I guess I'll just buy the Spirit Heart then. That might set us up well for the next floor. Now I do have something tangential I want to talk about, although I can't really call it tangential because the problem is I can't think of any way to tangentially link into it. What I could mention is a long time ago, well not even a long time ago, a little while ago I went off on a advertisement for a pizza place that came through my door and eventually someone linked it on Twitter. It was the one that said that they were the official pizza of giving the oven the night off or the official restaurant or whatever. Well, I got another advertisement from them the other day there. Oh, a luck up penny. And they've changed their slogan. They are no longer the official pizza of giving the oven the night off. They are the official pizza of squads. That's what it says. There's not as much to analyze and take apart in this one, but it's a picture of four edgy, smug-ass teenagers walking together. So they're like, oh look, this, this is our squad. And I, I didn't really pay much attention to the, the picture because I was like, ah, this isn't as technically wrong as that last... It's, it's a tacky as hell achieve, uh, achievement. Tacky as hell advertisement. But it's not got as much wrong with it as that last one. And then I looked more closely at one of the teenagers who's part of the the squad, as it were. And he's got a fucking fidget spinner in his hand. And then I was like, I'm not going to eat from this place anymore. That's, that's a lie, probably will. But I'm going to do it with a moderate level of scorn. He's got a... Fidget spinner and it's ooh, ooh, it's like how are you that behind the times? Because I'm pretty sure fidget spinners are coming gone as a fad among children. 
it's, it's among children, not teenagers. Or people who are like just about to hit 20, I would guess. But that's not the thing I was originally going to talk about. Sorry, I just remembered like, oh, actually, that's something tangential because I spoke about that other advertisement here. Oh, that was a hell of a dodge. Now, the thing I wanted to mention, I guess it's tangentially, you could say, oh, it's about something young people are doing that's annoying. And this is how I know I'm getting old. Because I'm sure previous generations went through this as well. Like, the specific example is I've, s I've noticed on places like Reddit that the kids today saying lol isn't enough anymore. Like, it's already shorthand, it's already irritating, it's already kind of like shorthand for you thinking that something is funny, whether sarcastically, ironically, or you're just making someone feel bad because they did something stupid. You know, lull is used for all those things, and I'm sure many more. I'll take um, the rusted key over this. That was a little risky, but I want to maintain our presence for deals with the devil. Anyway, thing is, saying lull isn't enough anymore, so people have started saying Omega LOL. And it must be an age thing, but I see them doing that. And it's a it's a bit internet cliche to say this as well, but I cringe. It's like, do you think you're looking cool by saying Omega LOL instead of LOL? I, I don't understand why you would think that. It doesn't make you look cool, it makes you look stupid. Saying lol already is lazy and stupid. You're adding to a shorthand term to try and imply that you're laughing even harder. What is LMAO for? If you must do something that's going to imply something worse than just laughing. That's what LMAO is. But no, you have to do a mega lol because you're young and stupid. Don't say a mega lol. I have no other point to bringing this up other than I see people doing it and it drives me insane because it's stupid for so many levels. It's on par with that original pizza advertisement for how many things are wrong with what you're doing. If you want to imply a shorthand for laughing even more than LOL already does, it already exists. You look stupid. You look five years, well not five years old, you're probably 13, 14, 15 if you're doing that unironically. But it's real bad. Uh, anyway, we're not going to get enough money for the shop, so we're just going to have to go. But, to go back to talking about the run briefly, Demon Baby is fine, Gimpy is good, Jesus just from the boss fight, very good. Now we need to speed up a little bit, because that was two slow floors. It's not even sh- and I, wanna get that, I don't want to keep on going back to it. It's not even short, though. I, I made the poop to guard me and I accidentally shot it because I was talking. Thanks for spawning. We might actually die to him instantly because there's nowhere to hide with a small arena. Nah, we're going to get him. I was just going to say, if you drop nine lives, well, that's all forgiven. Adding a mega on takes more time. I, I don't have a problem in general with shorthand, incidentally. I don't like saying lol. I never do it. And I try not to use shorthand, but I know what someone's meaning when they do it, so it's not so bad. But stuff like that is just stupid. This should be secret room, I think. Yep. Oh, interesting. Well, we've got a tinted rock there. Okay. I will use two keys, so I'll take a chance. And we just got unlimited bombs for the floor, so I might as well look for a crawl space, but at the same time... That's going to eat up some... Wait, I've got unlimited glitter bombs. So if I was really patient, in brackets I'm not, I could just try for a bunch of consumables, right? Clutch magic mush. Clutch magic mush because I hate a mega lull. <sighs> I wonder if I'm going to remember to call this episode that. Although that would kind of ruin the surprise of talking about it. I don't know. We'll see. Or rather, you'll see. Weird, that bomb seems to take a little bit longer to explode. Anyway, finding nine lives is pretty good because we're, we're not getting a lot of HP, so that means we can trade away our hearts for stuff. Obviously means that if anything, we're going to be a glass cannon for a long time, which is 
scary. That's a mimic. Speed is also an issue. Not our literal speed, just in general how fast we're clearing floors. We're not strong yet, so we're not clearing very quickly. The nine lives means guppies in our grasp. Or even if not guppy, just all the good items from Deals with the Devil. So naturally now we're going to get either no deals or we're going to get Krampus. You know, that old chestnut. Still better than playing as Maggie. Uh, I don't want to go in the cur- wait, how does curse room deaths work again? You teleport out of the room you died in, I think. If I'm wrong about that, I'd get trapped in there forever and I don't- I'm not comfortable, I don't- Because if you die, I think I have to walk into the curse room then kill myself via a bomb. And then I teleport back out, I think. But I don't remember. Maybe this will be a balls of steel pill and I won't need to care. Is this a double floor? No, it's just another really big floor. I mean, baby, I'm going to need you to kind of like shoot things though. I'm amazed they never increased his distance. His minimum range is terrible. It's Meat Boy level 3 lock on distance. But we have found the shop. We can't afford a spirit heart. I might not buy it yet until the end of the floor. Have a look in though, hopefully it's... Oh, there is damage there. Damage is good. We have got unlimited, don't reroll anything. Put in. You drop nothing? Harsh. We found our boss, but we have not found our item room. I guess we'll just do the boss since we're here. If we die, whatever, we're spawning with the same HP anyway. Ooh, big horn is nasty when you don't have damage. I'm also not sure if he does one full heart on contact. Like if he, if he slaps you, I mean. Should really be giving him a taste of his own medicine given I have unlimited bombs. That one dropped a tarot card? Please be a strength card or something. Ooh. Death! That actually helped. So that's HP. We don't want it yet. That's Dark Bomb, which we absolutely want. Kill me. See, see if I care. I wouldn't mind Dimensional Baby if it stays open, which it did. So we'll take Dimensional Baby. And we'll take that for a Spirit Heart. We'll let Dark Bomb do his thing. Although there's only two rooms with hearts. Dark Bomb, there's, there's a, there. He found it. He just needed a little bit of help. We did not get enough money to buy Champion Belt, but we're not done on the floor yet, so we'll wait and see. I got my bomb back. And we will go into the curse room as well. I'm still, we're early enough in the run that I can still throw away lives. I think Gimpy paid out there actually. Dark Bomb did not pick that up. So he has that weird Afterbirth Plus thing where sometimes hearts will just bounce off you even though you can pick them up. That is an Afterbirth Plus thing because it didn't happen in Afterbirth and didn't happen in Rebirth. It's like hearts have iframes or something. <laughs> it's very strange. This is a room that is wasting a lot of time. Come any closer. Actually, don't people usually say that when they're being sarcastic? When someone's too close? I bet a lot of people say that to their dog. The tower. An exceptionally long, thin room. Item room on the far end? Yeah. Ooh, horrible room too. But, multi-dimensional babies, doubling up our damage ever so often. Okay, we're 
with that on the way back. Not good enough. Not good enough. I have unlimited bombs, why am I not using those? Because there's a chance the machine can explode, that's why. We will take panic power, even though I'm not entirely sure where it does, because I thought it was synth oil, honestly. And I guess we'll just clear this last room down here. We're already going pretty slow. If we're going to get delirium, it might just have to be luck of the draw. Because we don't need hush. No, we do not. Alright, we're done on the floor. We can't afford champion belt. Definitely. Now, was there anything else I could have received? A pill, a tarot card, a key. Ah, eh, we're fine. Even though I wouldn't be able to pick it up, I've got to know. Okay, that's fine. Burn for your lives. Oh, that stayed open. Nothing there I want, though. Alright, there we go. Way behind the clock. Oh, thank you again, Gimpy. Doubly so, because we got a heart. We paid it with another spare heart. If we could get ourselves maybe like a, a Chad fight, then we'd be amazing. Chad would pay it with a half heart every other room. Dark Bomb would pay it every fourth room. Not necessarily with a spare heart, I suppose. This is like a massive range up, right? Yeah. Okay with that. Allied Spider, not worth a spare heart. It raises our shots slightly higher as well, which is a negative. Bitcoin, I don't remember what it does. I do know, because I remember asking on stream. Or I did know, but I've forgotten. So that means it probably wasn't very good. Speaking of not very good, still better than what we're using. Clutch Magic Mush? Nope. Maybe this time, Clutch Magic Mush. Ooh. Something is wrong. I'll keep the... I, I don't know why I'm feeling like the range up trinket might matter, but I feel like it might. So I'm going to hold on to it. Maybe we're going to find, like, number one in an item room, or... What else would really severely affect our range? Maybe a blind floor where I accidentally pick up my reflection again? Either way, I'm going to hold on to it over Liberty Cap. For now. Floor ain't over yet. Might change my mind by the end. That was honestly mostly just to speed this along. Ten years later, Dark Bomb is getting fed. I wish I had an unlimited number of bombs for this floor. The world card. We've probably seen enough of this. Oh, there's some bombs. Seen enough of this floor already that we don't need to worry too much. <laughs> I didn't realize he said it that way. Quick, 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 quick question marks. How's your sex life? Yeah, by all means, just kill each other. Saves me doing it. Getting a lot of big rooms this run, for whatever reason. Get slowed. And also feared. Wasn't slow at all. I was thinking of Mom's bra. Which is not something I want taken out of context, please. This is a room that superior range was made for. Which makes no sense, because since superior range conquers the room, that's like the opposite of what it was made for. That expression makes no sense in the context most people use it. Oh, they don't get scared, and they still keep firing. Okay. Did not know that fear effect did literally nothing to these guys. I guess it made them stand still for a second. Deck of cards is fine. I could use my last bomb to afford it right now, and I will. So 
So we have room for two cards, and we get given a card, which is the Emperor. Although we're right at the boss. So, bad draw. I also just noticed Demon Baby is affected by Multidimensional Baby. That's pretty nice, because they're always very close to each other. Very nice close to each other. Yeah, that does make sense. <laughs> just not in the way I parsed it. On the second draft, the grammar would have been better. Let's put it that way. Carrying Queen without piercing is a pain in the ass. Which, ironically, she must have, given that she's pooping out red boots. Oh, she got stuck in her own one there. I feel a sneeze brewing, Carrying Queen. You need to die pretty soon. I looked away to sneeze, son of a bitch. I knew I was going to get hit when I did it as well, but I couldn't hold it in any longer. Uh. HP tears and shots be down. Deal with the devil, which is not Krampus. So there's that Dark Prince's crown. I don't rem I don't. We've had it. I just don't know what it did. So I'm not going to take it. Although, for half a heart, might as well, actually. I don't... We sort of figured out, because at one point it started glowing red. Um, Make back some time by just going, I guess. I could have went back to the shop, maybe, to buy something else. Still way behind. Like, we're already missed boss rush. Ooh, double mushroom is a bit nasty. So if I die in here, what I might do is teleport straight to the boss and just try and get the deal with the devil again. We're one away from becoming Guppy. That'd be a big help. But even if I live here, I might still do it. They're jumping simultaneously. Simultaneous monster jumping. Whoop. Oh, I would argue that he was nowhere near me where he landed, so we're going to do this room again, and you're going to die this time. Also, let's just use the world card so I know where everything is. Secret room is right here. Yeah, his jump did not land on me. The death animation actually proved it. Ooh. So the room should have been done. We're actually doing it better this time anyway. Drop a bomb, please. Oh, thank you. Shop is way off on its own. This would get us into the crush room if we got another bomb. Oh, thank you. Not sure. Oh, the glitter bomb spawned the troll bomb. Just a black heart is a bit unfortunate, but we'll use that to kill Monster 2. Who's also not affected by fear. Oh, no, he did bounce away from me, so never mind. He's not sure where he was going there. And maybe a loss of power eight means after you've been hit a certain number of times, the crown kicks in. Because I think it was a long time after we picked it up that it actually turned red. So it's a bit like Cambian Conception. You will spawn on those red flies, I'll give you that.
HP, which we don't take yet. I'm very surprised it's not Krampus, but we're guppy now, so who cares? We'll take the HP, which in Blue Baby's case is just literally a spirit heart, but that's okay. We can fly. Will that get all four of them? No, it will get three of them and no more for some reason. And uh, now we need to build up HP to go the hush route if we can get down there fast enough, which I actually don't think we can. Don't need whatever it's called, kidney bean. Yeah, whatever. We can skip our final shop, let's just go down and try and make back some time. So this is the mom floor. We've got to do mom floor, both womb floors, in seven minutes if we wanted to get hush. Even with the world card, which I'd rather use on the womb, honestly. I don't think that's going to be possible. So we would just have to throw ourselves on the mercy of the court and hope that we get given a delirium teleport after one of these standard bosses. I mean, whatever, it's able. Clutch magic mush. I didn't honestly believe it in my heart of hearts, so that's why we didn't get it. But this time we did! Because I believed. We still don't get red HP because we're blue baby, but all sets up. Oh look, this room again. Except I'm more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Mmm, that's good vengeance. Tackle flavored vengeance. Still, the game can get ultimate revenge on me if it just chooses not to give me a delirium teleport. I mean, I'm going to look in the curse room even though we're already guppy because I can. We've got spiders and a two of hearts. Just need to find the final item room now. The final shop, not too concerned about. If we get a deal with the devil on this floor, it's almost certainly Krampus, because I'm surprised we haven't had him thus far, honestly. What's that? A dead end? Thank you, Dark Bum. Oh, another one. You're being very generous. Because I'm feeding you. Apparently, I missed a red heart back there, but we're. <laughs> Why am I going fast? I can't do three floors in four minutes. If I had a Emperor card and a blank card, then maybe. Two clubs, I'll just use. Ace of clubs, I'll just ignore because it's bad. And there's the final shop. We haven't had the final item room. Great? Not great. Nothing worth picking up. Ow. I'll find the other item room. As I say, can't make it to Hush. It's just a case of we have to hope that after some boss it gives me a teleport. If it gives me a boss, uh, sorry, a delirium tel- oh, wish I'd save some money for this. A delirium teleport after mom. Ooh, there's piercing shots. I'll go for it. I think it's- we're in with a shot. It's all the flies. But damn, they're powerful. No deal with the devil. There we go. So the next point at which it can spawn is after it lives, which is the floor below this one. Choose a teleport here. So, boss is all the way down there. Small rock. Got my bomb back. Plus one more. Oh, you poor sod. Now we're clearing rooms at a more than acceptable speed. Fly around and let the flies do the work. Hello, Lust. Hello, Lust. Oh, that's two out of three.
Wait, we don't look like Guppy anymore. It's weird. Sister V's? More like Sister's dead. Magic 8 Ball is a bit meh. Did give us a full card. No Krampus, we got Guppy's Collar. We can become Super Guppy. There's actually no reason to take it, so... Oh, we wouldn't have been Super Guppy anyway because we haven't found the paw. Super Guppy is also not a thing that actually exists, but definitely should. It's basically the same room again. Made me look more like Guppy. There we go, that's more like it. Because we definitely can't make Hush in time, now we're just looking for methods by which to become stronger so that we have an easier time with Hush if... Uh, sorry, Delirium. If... the game behooves to give me a teleport to him. That key does actually matter, we've run out. Which now is giving me a ton of rooms I can just clear with ease. Goodbye, Polycephalus. Polycephalus, rather. Briefly forgot how to pronounce your name. To be fair, it's a dumb name. Obviously, wish I'd seen that room before I did all the gold chests, but. Come at me, Diglets. Hmm, thank God. I don't remember you picking up a red heart. There's one for you. Kershaw, we no longer need. Could teleport us to deal with the devil, I suppose. But we don't particularly need those unless I had something like a badden in it. Got a good feeling about the boss being up here. Don't know why that didn't hit me sooner, honestly. I was sitting inside it for quite some time. He actually did pay out in this room, even though he started in the last room. He pinched the tail. Alright, this is at full health. That's a good start. more flies. And it's a spare spare heart if I get hit. Piercing shot, bitches! No deal with the devil, which is a shame. No portal to delirium, which is a bigger shame. Get up to Isaac. So next chance is after Isaac, next chance is after Blue Baby. Didn't exactly get much further. As far as finishing the base game goes, totally fine. If we get Dad's key on the chest, Blue Baby does also need Mega Saiyan. It wouldn't have as interesting an unlock because I'm pretty sure it's just a co-op baby, but it would still be an unlock that I need. Small rock. No. Spare spirit heart though, so that's good. Dead end. Damn you and damn your dead ends. I did that for laziness. Although honestly it was probably effective, it saved me time. Though the time is in a... Uh, an important factor at this stage in the game. It's like three spirit hearts spare on the floor now. Rune bag is good. And I'll just run on the delirium floor is amazing. 
Oh, look, double monstro again. I'm now even more powerful than you could possibly comprehend. Oh, you wanted me to say imagined? Imagine there? Tough! I wasn't doing a Star Wars. I was doing a original. Oh, blank ruins them thing. It was Digats. That was a tinted rock over there. Dead end. Emperor, please. Oh. Yeah, that's saving me time again. It's ah, another dead end. Oh, Jera though. Now watch as the game gives me a delirium teleport after Isaac, so I don't get to double up the chests on the chest. The moon card. Another spare spare heart. Hey, there's Isaac. I don't know, see two of him there. <sighs> Almost walked into the fire. Speed is a little fast. Hello, Isaac. Would argue against that touching me, but whatever. Plenty more where that came from. No delirium teleport. And this is fine. Okay, we'll go down to the chest. We'll double up the chests. So that means we get eight items. If one of them is dad's key, perfect. So, vision. Yara. Bad assortment so far. What the hell, take tech one. With being guppy, actually, maybe I think tech one is fine. If it was tech two, it would have been worse. Yeah, we're going to generate a crap ton of flies. Also, we look horrifying. So where is Blue Baby? Blue Baby is down there. I thought that was an enemy chub I was shooting there, it was, it was my one. Oh, Taurus kicked in. Whee! Whee! Oh, it's worn off. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with a quarter? Buy something? Like some common scrub? Oh, I was going to change it! That's fine, I'll go back. PhD in Mom's wig. Better. Mom's wig actually, I'm sorry, PhD just gives us cards because we have starter deck. Starter bomb, hey, eat that. You paid it with an allied spider, I believe. I feel another sneeze break. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh, the run where I was curious whether or not it was allergies or a cold and convinced myself by the end of the episode that it was a cold went live the other day there. Yeah, it's it's cold, all right. And it sucks. Oh, we didn't get Dad's key, so... Gonna implore the go the goom the game here to maybe like give me a delirium teleport after Blue Baby just oh money goes power uh, just a little I really didn't want to lose Guppy's head but whatever <sighs> I 
no teleport. Very, very disappointing. Nothing I do. It's a good run, but we just couldn't take it anywhere I needed to go because the start was so slow. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it though, and I will see you next time. Ta-ta for now.